That was disgusting. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, man. Okay, let's be honest. It's not all that good a morning. I'm just being polite. But um, let me say prayers go out to Robert Blake, who was, as y'all know, he was shot in the back seven times by a cowardly-ass law enforcement unit in Wisconsin. Uh, Kenosha, I believe it is. Man. I don't know. I really don't know what else we... I really don't know what else we can do. What else we can show y'all. You know. All I'm going to say... I'm basically, you know... Nope. I'm going to just call this what it is, man. Enough is enough. When is enough enough? I mean, how many times... What? Is y'all trying to reach a certain quota or something? I mean, man. How many times are y'all just going to keep on letting us unarmed black men getting shot, getting killed by law enforcement for nothing, man. And y'all just keep letting this shit go like ain't nothing happening. Y'all acting, y'all, it's this facade going on like y'all listening to us and y'all trying to see what y'all can do to help us. But in, hi in hindsight, in retrospect, y'all don't give a damn because it's like the more shit change, the more it's staying the same. And I think that's what a lot of y'all want. You know, I'm getting real sick of when something happens to somebody else. Y'all want us to listen to y'all, but y'all don't give a damn about us, though. And a lot of y'all feel that way. That's just facts. I'm not finna waste this whole video ranting, man. The man, another, the big reason I made this video, I am so proud. I'm so proud to be a, to call myself a black man. Especially seeing what the NBA players, the NBA teams did yesterday. Shout out to the Milwaukee Bucks being first one. To set it off. Milwaukee and Orlando. Lakers in Portland. Uh, Clippers and Dallas is probably not going down today. Shout out to the NBA players for showing some solidarity, man. All you motherfuckers, so all you analysts and slob and taters talking about some, man, we understand where the players coming from, but at the same time, y'all got to get back to work. Ain't nobody trying to hear that shit, okay? We don't want to hear that. And shout out to the Major League as well, because it appears that it's trickled down to the Major League. Because it's a few teams considering not playing, you know, Cincinnati Reds being amongst one of them. Man. So, you know, and then you got LeBron James and Kawhi Leonard considering leaving the bubble. You know, if this, co this continues, man, hey, look, man, I'm not mad if they shut it down. It is what it is. And I'm going to give Kyrie Irving some love, too. Kyrie Irving was right. Because Kyrie Irving, he wanted the whole thing to stop because he figured once we get back in the flow of basketball, people going to forget the message. And some of y'all have. All of us have it. But a lot of y'all have. I'm so proud of the NBA for showing some solidarity, man. I'm proud of all you brothers, man. And for all you clowns. Trying to make excuses or whatnot and talking about look at facts. Look, dog, the facts is I seen an unarmed man get shot in the back in front of his fucking kids. There was no reason for that. None. Period. In the words of LeBron James, I don't have nothing nice to say about those chumps, and I never will. They don't deserve to be called cops. They don't even deserve to be called crooked cops. That's too much. That's too nice of a term. So for all you clowns about to you know, do what y'all normally do, show your true colors, start making your little challenges and whatnot, I'm going to say SMD. I ain't even going to say what I really want to say, man. Prayers up for, for Blake. Hopefully he gets